All right, so welcome again to Military Guna TV. Thank you very much for joining me. And uh, for the reggae boys, I can see we have bad news. It's disheartening, very, very disheartening to hear that and find out that Bobby Reed has now been relegated with Fulham um, Football Club. Um, we also have a reggae boy replacing one reggae boy in the Premier League. I didn't want him to want wanted him to get relegated. It's 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 a pride thing. I believe it's a pride thing for me to have a few reggae boys playing in the Premier League, but we'll see how that one goes. Bob Reed has contributed a lot to Fulham this season in particular to give them a great boost to keep themselves up in the Premier League, but it just was not good enough. But definitely, um, it was a holistic performance from the team itself, as I said previously about other players that have been relegated, that it's a team and you're a part of the team, which means that it's a combination of everyone just not being good enough. We know it's, it, was a, it has been a difficult season in, for every team, not just Fulham, but as you say, the game is a result game and you are merit of results. And right now, their merit is being relegated because the result definitely was just not good enough. And because of that, we are, we are now seeing the entirety of the, the Premier League being formulated as how we wanted to um, would see it going forward. Who's been relegated, who's moving to the Champions League position, and also who's moving into the Europa League position. But definitely, that is how the, 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 the Premier League club um, stands. But... For now, the teams that are being relegated are Sheffield United, West Brom and now Fulham has finally joined. And I do saw, saw previously an, an interview with Bobby Reid stating that he would love to keep the team above. But um, in, in accordance with performance, even today when I was watching the game, a very, very good game um, for Bobby Reid as well. But on a holistic level for the team. Um, it was just it was just not good enough. I'm going to give you some stats highlighting Bobby Reed's season so far and what he has done. He has played a significant amount of position on the pitch: left wing, um, second striker, central attacking midfielder, right midfielder, and also as a right wing back. So he has played a significant amount of position on the on the pitch, and he has contributed his best. And it was just not good enough. Hopefully, um, someone, one of those teams would look at him and see what he has to offer and maybe go into the transfer market and get a move. Because I do believe that he's definitely above the championship level. But as they say, no one is better than anywhere. Because it depends on how you play and what you are merit. And at this moment, the, champ, the entire Fulham team merits relegation, which means that every player also merits relegation but that's how football is and let me get into some of the stats let's quickly run through some of the stats so he has 29 appearances starting 24 of those games and also completing 74 minutes for an average per 90. He also contributed with five goals um three shots per game definitely that's quite good also three big missed chances one of the things i would definitely criticize um bob reed for he has no assist playing on the wing wing back position also on the second striker i do believe that you should have at least sum up a bit of um assists even two assists throughout the entirety of the season you played 29 games starting 24 of those at least you could have made at least two assists but that's not solely done to you alone and the reason why i would put this on his shoulder is because he didn't create any big chances but Let's see how that one goes. Hopefully, as I said, we can move on from that. He averages 34.2 touches per 90, completing 16.8 passes per 90 at a 78% pass completion. Um, 6.4% percentile passing accuracy inside of his own box at an 85% um, passing accuracy. 10.5 passes inside of opposition, half, which um, with a 68% with a pass completion, that's the basic average per 90. Successful dribble 0.8 at a 53%. Total deals 1, 2.9 at 40%. Um, ground deals 2.4 at 43%. Aerial deals 0.5 at 30%. Possession loss 9.5 um, per 90. Commits 1.1 fold per 90. And also was fall 0.6 per 90. And for the entirety of the season, he has received a total of 7 yellow cards. So those are the stats that wraps up the card of over seasons in totality of what he has done so far. As I said, these stats as a person on a personal level, these stats are quite good. But on a holistic level for the team, they are they were just not good enough because the team suffered relegation, and it doesn't matter what we want to say. Relegation is a team effort and it, and it also affects individual effort as well. If you are given just an extra extra punch, I think that maybe um, there, you could have done something extra in another game and that will be 
three plus points and it, that didn't came out but definitely i do think that he had a, a fairly good season a decent enough season as an individual but at this point in time the season entirety for the club was just not good enough so people thank you very much for tuning in hopefully you guys smash the like button i really do enjoy building this content for you guys and bobby reed relegated into the championship we also have a few players looking forward to coming to the championship a few regular boys are looking forward to come in the premier league such as our ethan pinnock ivan tony well ivan tony is not a regular boy yet but we'll see how that one goes but ethan pinnock Jamal Lowe, it would be another situation with Jamal Lowe, a fancy flair player like Bobby Reed coming to the Premier League and also Andre Gray. So definitely people, we do have options, we do have a few options to move into the Premier League but we'll see how that one goes for now. Fulham is out of the, 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 the Premier League and Bobby Reed is also um, tugging along with Fulham Football Club going down. Hopefully he can save himself. Put himself on the transfer market and we'll see how that one goes. Military Guna TV people, thank you very much for tuning in. A big respect to everyone who tuned in. Hit the like button and also drop a comment. Tell me what do you think. Do you think that Fulham really deserve to go down? They do play with heart and passion. But guess what? That alone cannot suffice for what you do for the season. Thank you very much for tuning in. Lot of respect. Military Guna TV. I'm out.